Hi, this is Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take a gigapixel panoramic picture using a Skywatcher all-view telescope mount. So this telescope mount has two modes. It has an astronomical mode and it also has a photographic mode where you can shoot 360 degree panoramas, but you can also kind of uh, set it up to have uh, limits and make a panorama of any size that you want. And so to make a gigapixel uh, image, which is essentially that we take a bunch of images and we stitch those together, is that we want to use a fairly long or telephoto lens and then we'll take numerous photos with a narrow field of view and then stitch them together into a panorama which will be ultra high resolution. So let me show you how we can do this. Okay, with your um, Skywatcher all-view mount, you have a hand controller. And so when you initialize this, there's two modes. You can go into astronomical mode or you can go into panorama mode. So I'm going to go into panorama mode. So I'll hit enter and it has operating mode, panoramic mode. And so I'll go ahead and hit enter there also. Okay, so now it has uh, panoramic functions, and we're going to go into easy pano mode. And so I selected easy pano mode. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And step one is to set the camera field of view. And we already know the field of view, and so we're going to choose uh, yes. Uh, I had a uh, an app on my phone where I calculated the field of view for my lens, which is, happens to be a 140 millimeter lens on a 2x crop camera. So we're going to set, and in this case the camera is mounted in uh, portrait mode, so our uh, horizontal point of view, field of view, is going to be less than our vertical point of view, field of view. And so here I'm going to set this to be 0, 0.3, so 0, 0, 4, 3 for my horizontal field of view. I'll press enter. And my vertical field of view is 7.7 .7 degrees, so I'm going to enter 0, 0, 7, 7, enter. Next it will ask me to set the home position which is the center of where the, uh, the panorama is going to be shot. So I'll just go ahead and use the arrow keys to move the camera to the, cent the center position of my panorama. So I'll move that over there just a little bit. And when I've got that home position, I'll press enter. And we're going to set picked range. And so sometimes it will go automatically to 360 uh, panorama mode, and we don't want to do that, so we hit the escape, and we're going to set picture range by editing. And so we'll hit enter. And so we're going to take a, uh, a panorama, which is 45 degrees um, uh, in width and 15 degrees in height. So it's a 3 to 1 ratio panorama. So I'm going to change my right limit to be half of 45 degrees, which will be 22.5. So I will go 0, 2, 2, 5, press enter. My limit, left limit is minus 0, 2, 2, 5, and enter. My upper limit is going to be 7.5 degrees, so 15 degrees divided by 2, so 0, 0, 7.5, and enter, and my down limit is going to be negative 0, 0, 7.5, and we're going to set a time halt of two seconds, so the the mount will move to position, sit in that position for two seconds, take a picture, and then move on to the next position. So we'll go with two seconds is our value there. 
and it will ask us if we want to use auto shooting. And so I have a uh, camera shutter control cable, which works with my camera, which happens to be a Panasonic uh, Lumix GX, GH3, and I can use auto sh sh shooting mode. And so it will actually take the exposures for me. And it will move between each position and then take a shot and then move on. And I'm going to set an exposure time of one second, which is half of my halt value. Okay, and when I press enter, that will start taking this beautiful panorama of Trinity Alcove or Three Canyon in the backcountry of Utah.